Five students standing up by walking out for a second day. We've come so far as a state, as a country, and this is just taking steps back. After the controversial so-called Don't Say Gay bill passes. Tonight on CBS4, they're voicing their concerns. Chopper 4 flying over those schools. The one you see behind us is Pembroke Pines Charter School. CBS4's Ashley Dyer joins us from another school, Mast Academy, with more on the pushback to the Don't Say Gay bill that Governor Ron DeSantis is expected to sign. Ashley? Well, Lauren and Elliot, it was easy to see how passionate some of these students are on this cause. Today we saw hundreds of them walk out of their classrooms protesting the Don't Say Gay bill. They chanted and carried signs through the courtyard of the school. We even saw some employees involved in the demonstration. Middle schoolers all the way up to high school seniors. Today, students gathered outside of Mast Academy showing their support for the LGBTQ plus community and their disapproval for the controversial Don't Say Gay bill. That's something that's been a part of American history. It's been a part of culture. And it's really important to talk about. We say gay! We say gay! In Pembroke Pines, a similar protest playing out. Do you want to show our protest and solidarity of the new bill that's getting passed in the Senate? The Don't Say Gay bill prevents schools from including material about sexual orientation or gender identity in their curriculums from kindergarten to third grade. It would allow parents to sue schools or teachers that teach about LGBTQ plus role models. If there's somebody part of that group at a young age and they're aware of their um, sexual identity, they're being oppressed. This isn't the only bill under scrutiny. Today, the Florida Senate passed a bill that bans the teaching of critical race theory in public schools and private businesses. The bill moving forward, despite the fact that critical race theory isn't taught in South Florida schools. Previously, DeSantis has showed support for both bills. The Don't Say Gay bill is heading to his desk next. I might be just 16, but, you know, um, I think I should have a say in who I should marry, who I like. Uh, who I can be, how I express myself. I don't think it should come from someone who doesn't know me. Gabriela Daza says there was a time when she didn't feel comfortable being herself, and she wants to prevent anyone else from feeling that way. It might help other people who are struggling with the same thing. This is the third demonstration we've covered in the last two days, and ahead at six, we're going to be talking with the organizer of the protest here at Mast Academy on why she pushed for so many people to get involved. We're live from Key Biscayne tonight. Ashley Dyer, CBS4 News.